national champion. How does that feel? Big weight off my shoulders. You know, it's pretty, pretty nervous. But um, once the gun went off, you know, I just had to run within myself, and you know, I just needed to want it. And uh, I guess getting tripped a little bit with about 250 to go, and I got pretty competitive, and I was like, all right, like playtime is over. And Coach Johnson said I'd make one move and one move only, and so I made it and I went hard and, you know, went 100% and uh, it worked out for me today. Was that earlier than you had planned to move? No, you know, I've been kind of going at 200. He never really tells me when. He said, you know, 200, 150, 80, whenever I want. And um, so I was playing in my head about 150 and then it started getting real tight and people were kind of winding up and I was like, well, I'm going to act before everyone can react. So. You mentioned it being a weight off your shoulders. How long has that burden been on you? Uh, after last year, you know, I knew I was nationally competitive for that top spot all last year. And then, you know, this year coming in, a little different spot without Natoya being around. So since indoors, it's been weighing on me more and more. And then, of course, after Wednesday, you know, there just everything. I had to kind of like stay off my phone, the computer, because... You know, I didn't need any added stress because it was, it was a long time coming for me and, you know, I had it in me so there was no reason why I couldn't go out and, and get the W today. Talk about that final straightaway kind of put it on the crowd. You know, when you had the lead, was it hard to kind of keep yourself composed or what was that like on your way to the finish line? Yeah, I've been, I've been working on that last 100, staying composed, keeping my form, you know, staying within myself. And the crowd was so loud, I couldn't decide, if, you know, I wonder if that's for me or if that's someone coming behind me. And I looked at the screen and it's so hard to tell. And I was like, you know, stop looking at the screen. I, you know, I was like, I'm running fast. So someone's going to have to come on quick to be catching me. So. All I had to do was keep my form and I was going to get across that line first. So. When you did cross the line, what was the emotion at that point? What was going on? Just relief, you know, and then and then happiness, but mostly relief. Um, I was pretty nervous, kind of sick to my stomach before the race the past, you know, five, six hours. And uh, the coaches were kind of telling me, that's the calm before the storm your body getting ready for a big performance and it's exactly what happened and you know they're always right I just had to trust in myself trust, trust in my coaches my training and it all fell into place you have your sophomore year is the first time you ran on this track is this like coming full circle now to cap your college career at least in the 800 this type of race definitely winning out here um, on Harrod Field at home I couldn't have gone out any other way and you know the way I ran that last 200 I gave the crowd what they wanted and you know it feels good to you know, appreciate them as much as they appreciate me. I know you have quite a bit of family there. Did you get a chance to pick a few of them out of the crowd? And if so, what was that like? Oh yeah, they're wearing Bolt, you know, they're wearing like the Oregon Bolt, so they were not hard to hard to miss. So that was really special. I got to see my whole clan there, and not only them, but the other 10,000 people in the stands. So I felt right at home. Laura, I know you just came off the track, but when you think about your career, your coaches, your teammates here, what do you think? What do you think about? What comes to mind? I think that they set me up well, and you know they they prepared me for the best collegiate season I ever could have asked for. Collegiate season, collegiate seasons, you know, um, as many All Americas as I've won, and relay titles, individual titles, team titles. I couldn't have found that success anywhere else, and you know they've been setting me up for after college too, and so. I couldn't see myself having gone anywhere other than Oregon, and they've treated me better than I ever would have imagined. Are you running in the 4x4 tomorrow as well? I am. I have one more race, and you know, this thing isn't over yet, so. We'll talk in the prelim about having a panic point when the pace went out pretty fast, and you kind of briefly said, thought about what, what's going on. Was there any point like that today when you got tripped briefly? I mean, you, you recovered very nicely, but. You almost went down. Did you ever think about that? You know, um, I had figured when I was kind of putting myself in a bad position after 100, 150 meters that uh, I was I was in a tight spot and I had to make sure I kept my footing. And I got a little tripped up, but in my mind I was like, "There's no way I'm gonna fall." And um, I was like, "You know what? I'm I'm gonna go." And if they want to keep tripping up, <laughs> tripping me up, you know, they're gonna have to come with me and follow me. And um, once I went, you know. I uh, was hoping no one could come with me, and, and you know they didn't. So on the camera in here, they have from the front. You look like you're laboring on the final hundred meters. Next to the headwind you were running into. Uh, you know, I was just kind of gritting my teeth, gritting in. I, I was making sure that no one was going to pass me. You know, I uh, 
I wasn't laboring. I was just like working hard to run fast and um, finish strong. And you know, I, I wasn't about to get caught. So I was just making sure that there was no chance that that was going to happen. Couple more. Cool. Thanks, guys.